So it turns out that if you spend time with a community of your friends and so on, these, you know, you have chemical changes that reflect that. And one of the apparent consequences of that is that people become more trusting. And so the question is, if I have people surf Facebook and then have to make some sort of moral decision-making task or just some purchase task or whatever it is, um, are they more likely to go for it after five minutes of surfing Facebook than five minutes of surfing Wikipedia? Um, I think probably the answer is going to be yes. It's going to be correlated with the oxytocin levels because, of course, the levels of these chemicals steer our decision-making in many different ways. But this all falls under this general umbrella that I'm fascinated with, which is, um, you know, why are brains so social and how does it... Yeah, how does it navigate our decision making? Why did Facebook become so, why did Web 2.0 become, uh, why is it such a natural fit? And of course it's because we are absolutely hardwired for relationships, that's what brains are all about. And all of the basic things about, you know, finding friends, and why does it feel so good every time you get another Twitter follower or something, or, you know, you just feel like, oh, some total stranger is following me, I must be really great, and I, I feel really important and good now, it's a bit, uh, yeah, these very powerful influences and it's the first time in history really that there's been a way to study this because of the you know because of the data on hand to study exactly the kinds of decisions that people make